What is up, guys? Part two, Maze of Memories. We're not going to even do an intro here. You watch the first part if you guys want a longer intro. We're going to open this up right now because I want to know, man. Did I get a collector's rare? Do I need... How many copies of uh, Wake Up Your Fucking Hero in collector's rare do I need to order? In, in like three weeks, of course, because uh, we don't do pre-sales or, or even week of sales or whatever in this channel. Uh, I'm trying to see if the lights are good. I'm trying to experiment here with the lighting. All right, let's see. Overload Fusion. We got uh, Sui Jin, Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. Nice. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Uh, Mudan, the, the Rika Fairy. Rika, is that, what, what, are they, what is their stick? What do they do? I know, you know. Being the Yu-Gi-Oh! community... Yu-Gi-Oh! community being Yu-Gi-Oh! community. They like Rikas for some reason. Red Eye Soul. On your mark, get set. Duel! Better not be a collector's bear. All I'm saying. Labyrinth Wall. Chaos Form. Royal Decree. Labyrinth Wall of Shadow. They, the, all the artworks, man, of these Gate Guardians are fucking awesome. And I am aware they lifted some of them from the manga, but hey. They, being lazy actually paid off for them in that one. Psy, Psy Beast. If this when this card is normal summon, you can banish one psychic monster from your deck. And if you do, this card's level becomes that level of the level of that monster. So, I mean, someone's got to tell me what what deck is using this. Maybe, maybe it is Cash Tira. Maybe, maybe it's uh, I mean, it's a level two. Maybe, maybe it's uh, Sprite. I know this for sure is going to be used in sprites. Nimble Anger. Ang Angler, not Anger. Urgh. Mech Knight, Yellow Star, Ririkyu, -re 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 Guardian, Shadow Ghoul. This guy looks so badass, man. i trying to think as a kid. I think I had Shadow Ghoul and I was trying to make it work with... You know what? I think this is coming back. Yeah, so I had Labyrinth Wall and Shadow Ghoul and I was trying to see if they worked because of the anime. Of course, they didn't because the anime lied to me and they were not using correct rules. But hey, Firewall, uh, Firewall Dragon, Dark Fluid, Neo Tempest, uh, Terra Hertz. Terra Hertz. All right. Yeah, so... I didn't know this guy was an ultra rare, which is weird. Why is this guy an ultra rare and the Xyz guy not? Because the Xyz guy, the Utopia guy, looks more badass than this guy. I'm just going to call it out there, but I guess we can read the effect. I don't even know what this guy does. All right, so three plus Cyber's monsters. It's, it's a Link 5. Holy shit. All right, negate any monsters effect activated by your opponents during the battle phase. All right. I mean, it's an and again, it's literally everything, but it has to be on the battle phase. Well, monster effects, I should say, not everything, everything. Quick effect: you can send one cyber monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, and if you do, this card gains the attribute of that monster sent to the graveyard. Also, it gains twenty five hundred attack. Whoa, that's a big boy right there. Five thousand five hundred after that gain. You can only use this effect: the Firewall Dragon, Dark Fluid, Neo Tempest, uh, Terra Hertz. Such a weird name, man. Konami. <laughs> You're just running out of names at this point. They're gonna run out of names before they run out of the uh, the unique IDs they have at the bottom left there of, of every card. I swear. So let's see. You can only use yeah 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 once per turn of this card. This card can attack monsters a number of times each battle phase, up to the number of different attributes it has. So it doesn't lose the attribute, does it? You can send one cyber's monster. This card gains the attribute of that monster since the graveyard. No, it is not until the end of the phase. So that, I mean, that's cool, but think about it. So you summon this baddie. It gets another another uh, attribute, let's say light. And it can attack twice, and it has 2,500 attack extra. So it'll be a 5,500 beater. It can attack twice. You better be winning the game. I mean, X, the, um, uh, what, what is the guy, the... Cyber's boss monster, I think he's in Link 4, that destroys monsters, and then he gains attack. I'm, I'm really blanking on his name, like Axis Code Talker, I think. Uh, it's a, similar to that. He doesn't destroy, he doesn't negate, and he gains attack. So you better be winning. I don't, I don't see, I don't see you using this on your, uh, on your next turn and having three attacks, you know, is all I'm saying. Also, he sends any, any Cyber's monster to the graveyard, so if they have, uh, if that Cyber's monster has graveyard effects, then you can kind of pop off Queen, you know? 
Imperial Iron Wall. We got K Cajun LC, the Sylvan High Protector. I think this might be for Rika's, because Rika's a plant. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming. Although, are Rika's that high level? He's a r rank 8, so... I don't know. Imperial Iron Wall. Photon Orbital. Really good reprinting. He was, like, above 20 bucks as a, as a secret rare. Only had two printings as well. This is the guy I'm talking about. How did my boy, Utopia Rising, not get an ultra rare? This guy looks so much cooler than... Uh, the dark fluid. All the firewall dragons don't look that cool to be. All the cybers monsters, if, I, if I'm going to be completely honest. Like, there's something weird about them that I don't like. Alright, so what does this guy do? Because I don't know. Two level four monsters. If this card is special summon, you can target one number. Exceeds monster in your graveyard, except number 39, Utopia Rising. Special summon it in defense position. You can detach all materials from this card and attach them to that to that monster. That's actually kind of nice. Um, so you basically it's a monster reborn, but you attach materials to it as well. Because if you monster reborn and exceeds monster, it has no materials, basically useless uh, for most for, for most uh, in most cases, right? If this exceeds summon, if this if you exceed summon, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. Wow! But banish it when. It leaves the field. You can only use each effect. So, I'm trying to think if that's uh, useful because it'll have no materials, which means you can Monster Reborn and Exceeds Monster, but then you can transfer the materials. So, I guess what you could do is uh, re revive him with his own effect when you Exceed Summon something, and then attach material to this guy somehow. There are cards that allow you to do that, usually spells. And then, so the spell would be the material, and then you... Reborn again another Xyz monster. It, so basically you're gonna reborn two monsters and then the the second monster you reborn using the hit this guy's effect will should have a material um, An attachment or whatever. What are they called? Are they called materials? They're called materials Yeah, I'm gonna go with materials that this this isn't bad dude So basically you if this guy's in your graveyard, you're gonna have three bodies at the end of your Xyz summon That's a really good effect that, that ain't too shabby there. Should have been an Ultra. Cost down, Chaos Form, Labyrinth, Wall of Shadow, Blackwing, Zephyros, Zephyrus. He's also rank 4, so he plays really well with Utopia. Sui Jin, on your mark, gets that duel. Actually, basically any warrior deck. Because I think all warriors, uh, the better warrior decks, usually revolve around rank 4 cards, if I'm not mistaken. Red Eye Soul should have been a super, at least. This creepy little punk. M Mudan, the Rika Fairy. Double attack. Baron! Baron de Fleur. Let's go. This guy's uh, also a collector's rare. Should be a collector's rare. If, he, if he's not a collector's rare, Konami, I'm suing you. For whatever reason. I, I'll think of a reason. Don't worry. Baron de Fleur, though. This guy should be, or this chick should be about 30 bucks. At least, like I'm, I'm saying, like at least, uh, currently. So that's awesome. I wonder what it's gonna be once people start opening the setup, because there should be short prints. I mean, short prints are not out of the question in a set like this. I should say, Gate Guardian, Overload, Fusion, Solemn Judgment. There we go. I needed some copies of Solemn Judgment myself. Not that I use them, but you know, it's nice to have. Uh, it should also be a collector's rare. A lot of, they did a, a lot of the collectors rare unless you know we got duped because I know we did get duped once um, for someone leaked the collectors rares and they were incorrect supposedly or maybe they were correct and we got duped into thinking that we were duped we got double duped which means we didn't get duped if you follow the laws of negatives there we go yeah we won guys <laughs> evolution endo burst. Blackwing, Elephant, the Raven. All right, last pack here. So I mean, we already got two Ultras, and one of them is a fucking banger, Baron. We need Wake Up Your Hero, though, guys. Come on. If I don't get Wake Up Your Hero, I'm quitting YouTube. Not really. Actually, shit. That's it. that's not a bad bet. But I, I mean, what's the upside, right? I just get El I'll Wake Up Your Hero. I can just buy it. We got Ancient Fairy Dragon. There's the last Ultra. I'm quitting YouTube, guys. Rika. Why is this an Ultra Rare? Rika should have been Rares. Just not even include him in this set. This, you ruined the set, Konami. What are you 
doing? Rika Glamour. Whatever. I'm not. He's a. It's a. It's a super. I'm putting it in the super rare pile. Not even the cool super rare pile with the Gate Guardian stuff. All right, let's go. We still can. We could. We could get a collector's rare. Although it is like four per per case. What what is the what is that mathematically? Let me do quick maths here. So it's four out of twelve. Uh, three. Uh, one, uh, one, one fourth, one fourth, 25% chance that, well, not really actually, cause, uh, I bought two, so it's a little bit higher, I suppose. And it's not 25% chance it's lower. So it would be, it should be like, uh, two thirds of 25%, whatever that is. Unless I'm incorrect. I don't know. I don't know math guys. <laughs> I fooled you. <ya. laughs> Oh man. Alright, let's go. Me Mech Knight Yellow Star. Imperial Iron Wall. Another Mech Knight Crusadia, which I will take. This guy was pretty expensive. Now, I mean, he's a super rare. I don't think people really care too much about rarities. I mean, if you have your a favorite rarity, people will buy that rarity, of course. I get it. But what I mean by that is if a card is if uh if they need the card they're just gonna buy the card right like they're they're not just gonna be like i'm not gonna buy this card because it's a super rare or whatever gate guardian of thunder and wind although there are crazy people out there that will spend a lot of money for a card that uh for a printing that's way more expensive and it has no inherently like they will choose a, a more expensive super rare Versus a less expensive super rare. There's no difference in the rarity. There's a difference in the set. That is crazy. I, I don't understand that. Gay Guardians combined. Let's go. We got uh, Water and Thunder. Thunder and Wind. And Gay, Guardi Gay Guardians combined. The other box though that I opened was more packed. Jam packed with Gay Guardian goodness. This one, not so much. Although we did get Barone. It's packed with Baroni goodness. <laughs> Jabroni goodness. Gay Guardian of Thunder and Wind. There we go. Although we, we, uh, we're not getting the goofy guy. What's, what is it? Thunder and, Thunder. Wait, no, yeah, we did get the goofy guy. Thunder and Wind is the goofy guy. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. What is that guy doing? That's the, the midsection there. That guy, he'll give you a good suck. That's for sure. Suijin. Riroku. Solemn Judgment. Again, I will take. I should have three copies of that now. Including the uh, previous opening. Because, like I said, I do need that. I have no copies of Solemn Judgment. And that ain't good. Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. I think we completed it. There we go. We didn't get any Labyrinth Heavy tanks or whatever, though. Although, there is two more packs. Let's see. Come on, uh, Cajun. We got this creepy little punk. Number 39, Utopia Rising. I mean, I'll take it. Like I said, this guy looks badass. Actually, there's a... Uh, I've never noticed that on the background. There's a dragon to the left. And like uh, an Xyz guy to the right. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Cool. They might have lifted that straight out of the uh, anime or manga or something. All right. Collector's Rare time. We shall see. Time to stand up. Imperial Iron Wall. <laughs> hey, there, there's the Labyrinth Heavy Tank, actually. That's kind of funny. Uh, no collection for Labyrinth Heavy Tank, though. Looks badass. This, I think, definitely was lifted from from the uh, from the manga, which I, I ain't complaining about that. And then there's that. Hey, Barone the Floor. We got a lot of Gate Guardian pieces. So it does seem like if you buy three boxes... You will, or sorry, two boxes. About two boxes. You will get all the Gate Guardian stuff that you will that you need. Uh, the highest rarity for these Gate Guardian stuff is super rare, so it's not going to be hard to obtain. I mean, in this opening itself, we got all the pieces uh, of the all the fusion pieces here, and the new big bad Gate Guardian himself. Actually, two of them. No, one of them. One of them. So that I mean, that's not bad, honestly. They should maybe start doing this a little bit more so people, especially if it's like more DM pandering, right? Just make it less, uh, make it more accessible so people that actually want it don't have to spend so much. Uh, although I do recommend waiting for three weeks, buying the singles are probably going to be like 50 cents each. 
and, and then have fun with with the gate guardian stuff that's all you're going to be able to do though have fun because you're probably not going to be winning tournaments uh besides that what, what do we got we i think we uh, it was a rika ultra that i i hid somewhere so barone the floor in dark fluid tempest neo tempest terra hertz terra hertz i mean terra is a unit of measurement right it's like above a million or a billion or something like that uh, there's some i don't know and it hurts as a frequency who knows that this was a pretty good opening guys i don't know how to end this video i feel like i should have gotten more boxes like i want a collector's rare man yeah i should probably have gotten more boxes all right see you guys in the next one